In this video, we will show you how to build a voice flow chat bot using Mistral 7B AI model via NDDIA's API. It is free and no code. It can generate powerful AI responses. We will also go through using memory to enhance user experience. Let us first go to Google search and enter NVIDIA Mistral 7B. Click on the first search result. We are now on the NVIDIA web page showing the Mistral 7B model. This model is very similar to ChatGPT. We will show you how to integrate this model with Voice Flow Chat Bot via API. Click the API tab and you can generate the API key. If you do not have an account yet, please follow the instruction to create one. If you already have an API key with NVIDIA, you can still use it here, just like our previous video on the text to image generation. You may watch that video for details. Let us select the no streaming to be used in voice flow chat bot. We can see the parameters we need in order to make API calls, such as the URL, the headers, and the data. We also can see the response and other parameters. Next, let us go to voice flow canvas. We are going to use an API block to make calls to Mistral. Let us drop an API block on the canvas and rename it as Mistral 7B API. We will need to populate the sections with corresponding values. We are going to make a copy of the URL. We paste the URL on the API block and change the request status to post. On the header section, click the plus sign to add a pair of key and value. Make a copy of the authorization. We paste the authorization here. Next, make a copy of the value of authorization and paste it in this box. Here, we need to place the API key. We are going to use a set block to assign the API key to a variable. Let us put a set block on the canvas and select the NVIDIA API key variable. I have copied my key and let us paste it here. On the API block, we place the variable NVIDIA API key. Click the plus sign to add another pair. We make a copy of accept and paste it in the box. Make a copy of application slash JSON and paste it in the box. Click the plus sign again and make a copy of content type and paste it here. Make a copy of application slash JSON and paste it in the box. Now we are done with the header section. Next we click on the plus sign of the body section and select the raw radio button. Make a copy of the data, including the two curly braces. Paste it in the body. As we can see here, the message has content, which is the question that the user asks, I am going to Paris, what should I see? We also specify the role as user. The temperature is same as that of chat GPT. The top p-value determines the probability mass that is sampled at sampling time. Max token is the maximum number of tokens to generate in any given call. The seed tells the model to return the same result if repeated requests are with the same seed. The stream is set false because we want the chat bot display the finished response at once. Please go to their documentation to see details. Let us click the send request button to run a test. Let us paste the API key and click the generate button. It shows 200 OK, which means the API call has succeeded. We can see the data structure of the response, such as choices, message, role, content, etc. Understanding the data structure is necessary for us to extract the answer later. We also can see other data, which are not our focus at this moment. In the API block, we click the plus sign of capture response. We enter response.choices0.message.content to extract the answer from the response data. We store the data in a variable called answer. We have finished the setting of the API block, and we will let the user input his question. Let us drop a text block under the set block. We ask the user, what is your question? We drop a capture block and capture the entire user reply and save it in the variable question. We connect the capture block with the API block. On the API block, after the content, we place the variable question to replace the original question. We drop a text block and put the variable answer to display the Mistral answer to the user. We connect the API block with the text block. Now we can run a test on the bot. We ask the question, what is the most populated state in the US? It replies with, the most populated state is California. This indicates the demo chat bot works well. Of course, you can build a much more complex bot. This Mistral model works like ChatGPT, 
which has been trained with large databases and is able to generate text response using the trained data. Another important application is to reply with an optimized answer based on the provided information from the knowledge database. Next, we are going to show you how to build a chat bot to connect the knowledge base. First, let us go to the knowledge base. I have uploaded three URLs from a gym website. Boys Flow has pulled all the information from the web pages and generated data chunks according to their similarity. We will use a function to fetch the chunk data from the knowledge base. The function get knowledge base chunks is provided by Boys Flow. I have duplicated this function and renamed it as get knowledge base chunks from Astral. In this function, we only need to do a very little modification in line 54 to remove the double quotes. In line 48, we map the content to get cleaner data. For more details, you may watch our previous video on Gemini. This is simple modification and we will get back later. On the canvas, we duplicate the API block. We will leave all the parameters unchanged except the body section. In the message, besides the user role, we will add a system role, and we have the prompt, answer the question using only the information provided. For the role user, we instruct the model with the user question, and the information, which are corresponding to their variables question, and chunks. The chunk stores the data returned from the knowledge base. We put a functions block on the canvas, and we select the function, get knowledge base chunks, from Astral. We have two input variables mapping to the question and VFAPI key. The output variable is mapping to chunks with knowledge base data. We connect the functions block with the API bot. Next, we duplicate the entire block. We connect the capture bot with the functions block. The function needs another input variable, which is the VFAPI key. In the set block, we add the variable. We can click the integration icon and copy the knowledge base API key. We paste it here. In the API block, we save the response in the variable answer. We duplicate the text block and connect it with the API block to display the answer to the user. Let us run a test. We ask the gym, what classes do you offer? It says, based on the information provided, the following classes are offered. This tells us the Mistral model has used the provided knowledge base data to generate the answer. This is excellent, but I do not want to show based on the information provided. We will use a different prompt to improve it. In the API block, we use the new prompt, you are an AI FAQ assistant. Information will be provided to help answer the user questions. Always summarize your response to be as brief as possible and be extremely concise. Your responses should be fewer than a couple of sentences. Do not reference the material provided in your response. Let us run a test. We ask the same question. It shows, we offer a variety of classes, including the following classes. This is much better. You can also try your own prompts according to your needs. Next, let us take a look at the API body data. We notice that all the prompts are wrapped with double quotes. If we change them to single quotes, for example, we change these to single quotes, will the API still work? Let us run a test to see what happens. We ask the question again, what classes do you offer? Unfortunately, it shows an API call error. The cause is JSON decoding error, unexpected character. It is because we have changed the double quotes to single quotes. This Mistral model does not work with single quotes, but most of other models do. Let us change the single quotes back to double quotes. In the functions block, we use the function to fetch data from the knowledge base, and the return chunk data contains many double quotes, which will make the quotation marks wrongly paired in the API call. This explains why we previously showed you that we need to remove the double quotes in the chunk data for the Mistral model. If we go to the function, we can see that we have added the code in line 54 to replace all the double quotes with empty characters. So the previous clean chunks, which contain double quotes, will be cleaner before it is returned by the function. For other models, we can wrap the prompt with single quotes, but this does not work for this Mistral model, as we have showed you previously. So this is the way I have tried and work. If you have a better solution, please leave a comment and let us know. Next, let us drop a buttons block under the text block. For the first button, we enter continue. Click the button to add the second button. We enter end conversation. 
For the first button, we add an action go to block, select home, and the set and greet block, which is the beginning of the chat bot. For the second button, we add an action, and select end to end the conversation. Now we have a loop. If the user clicks the continue button, he can ask the next question. He can also click another button to end the conversation. Let us run a test. We ask again, what classes do you offer? The bot says, we offer various yoga and Pilates classes. Let us click the continue button. We ask, can I take both yoga and Pilates classes? The bot replies with yes. In the following, we are going to discuss the memory issue, which comes with many AI models. Mostly, they do not remember the previous conversations, as cause bad user experience. This time, let us ask, I have back pain. What classes can I not take? The bot says, based on your back pain, you may want to avoid classes such as yoga all levels. Let us ask the next question, can I take yoga all levels class? The bot says, yes. The yoga all levels class is suitable for you. This is completely contradictory to the previous reply. The bot has forgotten the previous conversation. To improve this, we will add memory to enhance the user experience. Let's drop a set block on the canvas. The set block is going to update memory. We set the variable memory to json.string ife of underscore memory underscore. The underscore memory underscore is the system memory, which can store previous conversations between the user and the chat bot. We convert it in json string format and save it in our variable memory. Next, as shown previously, we remove the double quotes in the memory and save it back to the memory variable, which will be fed to the Mistral model. We connect the functions block with the set block and connect the set block with the Mistral API block. In the API block, we will add the memory in the prompt. After the first sentence, we add, use the following conversation history to help you with your answer, memory. We add also to let the model follow the next prompt. Let us run a test to see how the memory improves the conversation. We repeat the question, I have back pain. What classes can I not take? The bot replies, based on your back pain, you may want to avoid classes such as yoga all levels. Let us ask the next question, can I take yoga all levels class? The bot says in the beginning what the yoga all levels class is for. Now the most important part comes. It says, however, given your back pain, it is recommended to avoid classes, blah blah blah. Therefore, it would be best to avoid the yoga all levels class. This is perfect, which shows that the bot has memory of previous conversations. I really love this, because it gives a much better user experience. Let's end the conversation. In summary, we have shown you how to build a voice flow chat bot using Mistral AI model via NVDIA's API. The freeform chatbot is completely free and no code. We use an API block to send the data and the user question to the Mistral model and display the answer to the user. We also have built a chatbot based on the knowledge base data, which can be fetched by the functions block. In the API block, we have added system role to instruct the Mistral model to reply the user question using the provided information. Furthermore, we use memory to help the bot to enhance user experience. Always do not forget to do prompt engineering and optimize the reply. Hope you feel this video is helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.